everyone. Today we are beginning our little mini unit on text structures. So you are going to be filling the text structure flip book out with me. If we were in school, we'd be doing this on paper, but since we are not, we're going to be doing it in this cool little Google Slides document where you can just click through your links and all the information will still be right there. First thing we're going to do is put your name right here and then we're going to dive right in and get started by learning first about what text structures are. If you want to go to the next page, you can click on the link for the next page and then click on the slide that it's taking you to, or you can use your little thumbnail pictures over here to tell you what page you're on. We were, that's obviously the first page, let's move to page two. So, text structure is, and what you're going to be doing guys, is copying down what I say on your own pages. So, text structure is how information is organized in a passage or any piece of text. It's how the author organizes their information and what kind of tools they use in order to make sure that they get their point across. Okay, that's it. There are five basic types of text structure and the text structures we're going to be looking at today all revolve around ice cream. The first type that we're going to talk about is cause and effect. Cause and effect will be the first one. We are also going to be talking about compare and contrast. We're going to be talking about order and sequence. Problem and solution. And we're going to be talking about description. Those are our five types of text structure that we're going to be referring to and going and diving into in the next. And notice here, you can click on your link to go to the next slide or back to start, or again, you can click on your thumbnail page over here. So guys, cause and effect is a text structure that tells what <clears throat> happened and why it happened. Cause and effect tells the what and the why. Something causes something and then there's an effect, okay? So when you're thinking of cause and effect, you're going to see words in, the, in your text that uh, might be clue words that tell you that it's cause and effect. For example, causes, uh, because, since, as a result, if this happens, then that happens. Impact, due to, therefore, Reason leads to, resulting, so, effects of, outcome, caused by, and affected by, okay? For example, have you ever experienced the pain of an ice cream headache? It can make gulping down your favorite summer treat excruciating. The headache is caused, we can use this to highlight, the headache is caused when cold food comes in contact with the nerve-filled area on the roof of your mouth. The effects, notice there are these clue words that we saw up here, of that chili ice cream sends a signal to your brain through those nerves, ooh, and here's another one, resulting in a brief frozen headache that lasts 10 to 30 seconds. So the first thing we needed to do was highlight all of the clue words in the passage that showed us that it was cause and effect, and then write one of the causes and one effect relationship above using the details. Okay, so here we go. We're going to write one cause. So the cause is eating ice cream. And what can eating ice cream cause? Well, if you look up here, it can cause a headache or otherwise known as brain freeze. So our cause is eating ice cream and then our effect is brain freeze. Eating ice cream gives you brain freeze. And in this cause and effect text structure writing, this little paragraph that shows cause and effect, it explains why. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Moving on to our next text structure, compare and contrast. So the text structure of compare and contrast discusses similarities and differences. 
between two or more subjects. Here are our clue words for compare and contrast. Like, both, neither, same, on the other hand, alike, also, but, similar, in contrast, different, differ, and then EST words, okay? So let's take a look here. Again, we're going to highlight all the clue words that we find in this passage, and then we're going to complete the visual above with examples from the text. So frozen yogurt or ice cream. Ice cream is a frozen dessert made with milk and cream along with added flavors. Frozen yogurt is also a dessert that uses is also a dessert that uses yogurt instead of ice cream, which makes it more tart than ice cream. Oh, I saw a clue word. The word also is also a. So is also is a clue word there. Okay, let's keep on going. Which makes it more tart than ice cream. Ice cream and frozen yogurt are alike. Oh, grab your highlight down here. Are alike because both can be served. Oh, both can be served in a cone or a dish. Okay, another similarity. There's another one, and I ran out of things, so I'm just going to copy it. Another similarity. You're going to press copy here. That way you can make another one of those, another similarity. And we're going to paste it. Copy and paste. Okay, because we've got one more, I believe. Another similarity between them is that they can be served with a variety of toppings. The ice cream can have a fat content of 10 to 18. On the other hand, Here's another one. On the other hand, frozen yogurt is much lower in fat. Notice that all of those are still are up here as well. Okay, so those are our context clues. And let's take a look and let's complete our visual. Okay, so we've got two things that we're discussing. We're describing frozen yogurt and ice cream. Okay, so let's make one of these our frozen yogurt. So we're going to write ice cream up here, and we're going to write frozen yogurt up here. All right. So what are some things that ice cream has? Well, if we look down here, ice cream is made with milk and cream. <clears throat> and it also says that it has a higher fat content than frozen yogurt. Some things that only frozen yogurt has, we know that one, it's made from yogurt cultures and not milk and cream. And it also has a lower fat content. But some things that they both have together, because notice this is our Venn diagram, so this is stuff that only ice cream has, this is stuff that only frozen yogurt has, and this is stuff that they both have in common. Uh, we can add flavor and toppings to both. And we can also uh, serve it in a cone or dish. Those are the two things that they have in common. All right. So the next thing we're going to be talking about today is order and sequence. So tech, the text structure of order and sequence provides details of events in the order in which they happen. So here are your clue words for that. Dates in order, first, second, third, next, then, finally, after, steps, years, instructions, before, prior to, not long after, and following. So looking through here, um, some of our keywords are found with over the years. Oh, the word years, there's one. Over the years, there has been some controversy over who invented the ice cream cone. In 1888, oh, and there was an actual year. Okay, so there's a, there's a clue. Marshall, Mrs. Marshall's cookery book makes the first, oh, the word first here. 
is absolutely a clue. Mention using cones to serve ice cream. Then, oh, then we have another one. Okay. Then, Italio Marchioni comes along in 1896. Oh, there's another date. And first, and became the first successful salesman of edible containers filled with ice cream. After that, oh, there's another one. After that, and another date. In 1903, he obtained the patent for a machine that was able to make those containers. The first true cone shape serving ice cream was seen at the St. Louis World Fair in 1904. Okay, there's another one. Another date. And was introduced by Ernest Hamwee. By 1924... Americans were consuming as many as 245 million cones per year. Okay, now we highlighted all the clues in the passage. Now we want to complete this timeline. We've got all of our dates here with all of our, our events that occurred on those dates. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to fill out those dates. And, and so the first one here, the first thing that happened was 1888. Notice that was our first date that, that we came across in the passage. And in 1888, that was our first mention of a cone. The next date in the pass that the passage mentions was 1896. In Italio, is first salesman of a cone. He is the first salesman of a cone. All right, the next one that happened was 1903, and in that he got the patent, 1903. He got a patent for the machine to make cones. All right, keep on looking again. The next date is 1904, and in 1904 was the first use of a cone shape. The last thing that this paragraph mentions is in 1924 when... Can I have your attention please? Would any... That's when Americans start eating 245 million cones per year. Whoa. Right, that's all of that for this video. The next two Text structures are going to be found on the very next video. So open up that new video and you can complete filling out your text structures flipbook with me.